Now, while it's a sad casualty of modern gaming that cheat codes are few and far between, achievements be damned, for decades they were a glorious cornerstone of the entire medium, and more often than not, every last code hidden within a game was out in the open in short order. But sometimes developers decide to hold on to their cheats a little while longer than that, either for the fun of waiting to see if players will ever find it for themselves, or because they straight up forgot about them. So let's have a chat about them today, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these 10 video game cheats found years later. Number 10. The Piracy Code – Alien Resurrection 2000's Alien Resurrection game is best remembered for its innovative and, at the time, wildly divisive analog stick control scheme, but it more recently earned itself a place in history for an altogether more shocking reason. Last year, YouTube channel Modern Vintage Gaming revealed that the game contains a cheat code which allows players to play import or backup game discs without the need to modify their PlayStation console. Normally, they'd need a mod chip to do this. Now, if we're being real, it basically lets you play pirate PS1 games in the easiest way imaginable as the code effectively turns the Alien Resurrection game disc into a boot disc, letting you swap it out for your totally legal backup game. This hidden cheat was told to Modern Vintage Gaming by Martin Piper, the developer who secretly included it within the game code without the knowledge of his team, or more brazenly, Sony themselves. As for why he did it, well, he simply wanted to see if the PS1 could load different discs without resetting the console, which it evidently could. Needless to say, he didn't dare reveal his sneaky secret until long after Sony had moved on from the original PlayStation. Number 9. Minimap and Save Anywhere – Silent Hill 2 Just when you thought Silent Hill 2 couldn't get any more awesome in 2018, modder Punk7890 discovered a cheat which allows you to unlock a mini-map and also the ability to save everywhere, which are both extremely useful features in Konami's tricky, unnerving survival horror masterpiece. Now, The mini-map code only works after first beating the game and unlocking the infamous dog ending, while accessing the Save Anywhere feature requires you to input a different code while the memory card is inserted in your console. It's fair to assume that these features were hidden within the game in order to help developers to test Silent Hill 2 without being constrained by the typical gameplay parameters. But damn, knowing how tough the game was to get through for younger players of the era in particular, it sure would have been great to know this one about, I don't know, 23 years ago when it first hit the market and redefined horror for the entire generation. Number 8. The Special Konami Code – Castlevania Legacy of Darkness Now, One cheat code that certainly doesn't need discovering is the Konami Code, the iconic cheat that's been in basically innumerable Konami games over the last 40-ish years, except a slightly modified version of it was just just recently found in Castlevania Legacy of Darkness by Moses and Liquid Cat from the Castlevania 64 Discord, some 25 years after the game was first released for the Nintendo 64. Rather than simply enter the typical version of the code, which is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, and start, you need to instead input each command twice and do so using the N64 controller's yellow C buttons. This will instantly unlock each of the game's four playable characters, who can usually only be unlocked by first beating the game, as well as their alternate costumes and also the game's hard mode for good measure. And with that, it's probably time for folk to start testing out the double input version of the Konami code on basically every single Konami game ever made. Cheers for that. Number 7. 10 million credits, license skip, and earning gold – Gran Turismo 4 Last year, some 19 years after Gran Turismo 4's original release, player Nenkai shared their discovery of a series of cheat codes which allows you to instantly receive 10 million credits, pass any license, earn gold on a specific license test, and earn gold on any specific event. There is admittedly a bit of a rub here though, you can't merely enter the codes and just be done with it, you have to wait 365 in-game days to pass before they will work. Presumably this time restriction was an attempt by developer Polyphony Digital to prevent players from accidentally stumbling upon said cheats, and though it's a bit of a faff cycling through activities to pass a whole in-game year, it's thankfully not a requirement that you need to sit through in real time. Considering the utter slog it can be to grind credits and get the license test in the Gran Turismo franchise, it sure would have been useful to know these cheats like two decades ago. Number 6. Two player mode and pick any fighter. Super Punch Out. Okay, here's a really wild one. In 2022, a whopping 28 years after Super Punch Out was first released for the Schneiers, Twitter account Unlisted Cheats revealed a previously unknown cheat which unlocks a secret.
separate two-player mode. Firstly, players must enter a code on the title screen which unlocks a free single match with any of the game's fighters, after which they need to select a fighter on the free match screen and then hold B and Y on player 2's controller while pressing start on player 1's. This will allow the second controller to also pick a fighter and square off against the first player in a multiplayer mode that has been bafflingly concealed for almost three decades, when Nintendo could have simply sold it as, you know, a whole ass feature instead. Brilliantly, the cheat even works on the more recent Nintendo Switch Online version of Super Punch-Out, so that's pretty neat as well. Number 5. ZX Spectrum Emulator – GoldenEye 007 Just when you thought that GoldenEye 007 couldn't possibly have anything left to give to players in 2012, 15 years after its launch, Rare Forum user Spoon Diddly revealed that the game contained a hidden, totally functional emulator for the ZX Spectrum. Now, in fairness, it's actually impossible for players to access said emulator while playing GoldenEye in the conventional up-and-up way on a physical N64 console, because Rare actually disabled the code to access it. But by using an N64 emulator and applying a patch while playing this game, it's possible to reactivate the Spectrum emulator, which comes loaded with 10 games developed for the platform by Rare. As for why Rare included something so unexpected in the game's code only to disable it, well, it was reportedly an experimental side project and one they evidently decided to mothball for whatever reason. And yet, if just using a traditional ZX Spectrum emulator seems too damn simple and ordinary, why not jump through some hoops and do it through GoldenEye instead? Number 4. Unlocking Shin Akuma Street Fighter Alpha 2 Considering the famous enthusiasm of the Street Fighter fanbase, it's honestly shocking that this cheat code for Street Fighter Alpha 2 went undiscovered until 2021, a whole quarter century after its initial release on home consoles. Gizaha from the Zeldix ROM hacking forums revealed the presence of a code which unlocks the game's hidden boss, Shin Akuma, which was previously only a CPU combatant as a playable character. To do so, you must first beat arcade mode, then set a new high score and enter your initial as KAJ, then go back to the title screen and hold down L, X, Y and start on a second controller while the first controller selects versus mode. After this, either player needs to just pick regular Akuma from the player screen and then hold down start, at which point he'll turn into the hilariously OP Shin Akuma, and you'll quickly understand why he's not a legit member of the playable roster, for better or worse. Number 3. Lower Banana Count Donkey Kong 64 While surely lower stakes than most of the cheats on this list, it was still fascinating to see Twitter user TJ Balam discover a cheat code within Donkey Kong 64 which had laid dormant and undiscovered for an entire 21 years. They revealed a developer code which, when inputted in the game's lobby in the presence of cantankerous signpost B Locker, lowers the number of golden bananas needed to enter a given level. It's an odd enough cheat, offering a relatively minor advantage to players in the grand scheme of things, that has been speculated this was part of a scrapped mechanic where struggling players could trade in some coins to lower a level's golden banana requirement, which makes a lot of sense. All the same, it now belongs to the world to do with whatever they see fit. Number 2. Skip to the final ending. Near Automata Potato Patata now, to be fair, Nier Automata Potato Potata, is a lot newer than most other games on this list, but given that fans have been actively hunting for its final secret for the better part of four years, it was quite a relief when famed modder Lance McDonald finally figured it out. McDonald, who routinely plays around in the back end of video games to discover hidden secrets, found a cheat hard-coded into Automata Potato Potata's engine which allows players access to the game's final ending as soon as they've beaten the first boss near the start of the game. After McDonald spent, by his own admission, hundreds of hours digging around in the guts of this game, he found a way to bypass the requirement to beat the game's numerous times in order to access its final ending, with the aforementioned code allowing you to skip straight there after defeating the first boss. And if there was any doubt that McDonald had indeed found the game's last secret, the Japanese Nier account swiftly confirmed it to be true. Praise be indeed. And number 1, 100% Completion – Kirby 64 – The Crystal Shards 21 years after the release of Kirby 64 – The Crystal Shards, a player going by the name of Someone2639 discovered a cheat to skip all the way through the actual game and just generate a save file with 100% completion, because who the hell needs a sense of accomplishment anyway, right? Now, there are a few slightly eccentric requirements for pulling this off, though. You need to have your second save file empty and your third save file at 0%, before then 
plugging in an additional controller into the second port and resetting your N64 console. Upon reloading the game, enter a specific series of inputs and voila, your third save slot shall now have 100% game completion. Once again, the devs clearly wanted to make sure that no nimble-fingered young players could accidentally unlock this cheat through simple random button presses and so made the requirements so weirdly particular that it couldn't be triggered by accident. Makes sense, right? But less so in that now you've got nothing to do in a game that you haven't actually completed. Cool.